Good morning or afternoon or whenever you're doing this. Um, you can get started just in a seat, either on your knees or legs crossed, whatever works for you, but comfortable seat facing the front of your mat, eyes closed, or set your gaze on the top of your mat. Bring your attention to your breath. See if you can slow it down, smooth it out. Try to get rid of any sharp or jagged edges. Let it ease in, let it ease out. And while you sit here breathing, maybe just notice any fidgeting that you can get rid of in your body and your mind. Using this focus of your attention on your breath to even out your mind or just kind of settle into your mind. So recently I read this thing, just to sum it up, it said, if you're holding a cup of coffee and someone comes and bumps into you, the coffee is going to spill out. If there had been tea in the cup, tea would spill out. But because there's coffee in your cup, coffee spills out. And so it goes on to say, when life comes and kind of bumps you or throws you a little curve, whatever you're filling yourself with is what's going to fall out what's going to come out. So whether you're filling yourself with patience, kindness, compassion, understanding, or if you're filling it with anger, irritation, you know, bitter, violent thoughts, whatever you're filling yourself with day to day, minute to minute, is what's going to come out in those bumpy moments. So just an idea, and with that today, can you practice <clears throat> this kind of filling yourself with the good stuff. So while you're here, just practicing, filling yourself with the good stuff. Give yourself like four more breaths. Jaw soft, eyes closed, just filling yourself with the good stuff. When you're ready, you'll just gently break your eyes open. Walk your hands out in front of you, come to a tabletop. Spread all 10 fingers wide and just start to turn your fingers kind of out to the sides and then spin them back behind you all the way around, out to the sides, behind you. And you can do this in any pattern, any direction that you want to. Spin them in, spin them back, spin them out. Just Another time or two. And then you're gonna flip to the top of your hands. So maybe bring them closer to your knees, flip to the top of your hands, <clears throat> palms face up. Just relax here for a moment, not too much weight. And then keep your palms facing up, just spin your fingers out to the sides. Should feel like a really nice stretch through your forearms. And then you're just going to flip your hands so that your palms face down, you're in a tabletop. All 10 fingers spread, lift your palms up so you're balancing on the four long fingers, place them down. Lift them up, place them down. Lift them up, fingers stretching, place them down, curl your toes. Now lift your palms, lift your knees an inch. Keep your knees lifted, place your palms down, knees down. Palms up, knees up, palms down, knees down. So keep going through this. Make sure your low belly turns on every time you pick your hips up. Lift up, lower down, lower down. So one more time, lift up. Lift up, lower your palms, keep your knees lifted. Walk your hands back so that your wrists are right in front of your knees. And you're just gonna do like a little knee tap. And then you're gonna roll over the ball of your feet. We might've done something like this last week, I think. Armpits can kind of hook onto your knees. Heels come to the floor, come to a malasana squat. And then you're just gonna hinge back forward, palms to the ground, knees tap your wrists. And then back to that malasana squat, 
Armpits can kind of hook around your knees to keep the balance. Hands come back down, knees to wrist. So walk your feet wider if you need to. That might make it a little more accessible. Malasana. And then knees to wrist. Malasana. And then knees to wrist. Two more times like this. Knees to wrist. Malasana. Knees to wrist. This time, keep your knees at your wrist. Keep your hands on the floor. I want you to just pick your hips all the way up so your knees kind of slide up your arms. Come onto your tippy toes. Try to bring the weight into your arms. See how high you can get your hips above your head. And then you're going to come back down, knees to wrist tap. Roll over into that malasana. So we're going to walk ourselves up our mats just a little bit, and we're going to continue to do that. So walk yourself more towards the center of your mat if you're not. And then we're going to go knee tap, hips up. Knee tap, malasana. Knee tap, hips up, hold. Suck your low gut up, come on, your tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Knee tap, malasana, two more times like that. Knee tap, hips up, up, up. Knee tap, malasana, one more time. Knee tap, hips up. Knee tap, now we're gonna add on. So from malasana, see if you can sit your butt down. Come to a boat pose, maybe your toes tap your fingers. And then from here, your knees can come wide. We're gonna come back to that malasana, but feet can come together. It just might make this transition more accessible. You're gonna use your hands if you need to, or you're just gonna go hands forward, hands down, knee tap, hips up, knee tap, malasana, boat, toes to fingers. So malasana, knee tap. Hips up, knee tap, malasana. Make sure you find malasana, then your boat pose, toe tap, malasana. So go for three more. Hips up, knee tap, malasana, boat, malasana, knee tap, hips up, knee tap, malasana, boat. One more time, all the way through, knee tap. Up, knee tap, malasana. Last boat pose, two malasana, knees come down, child's pose, three fats. So forehead is down, arms are out in front of you or by your sides, whatever feels better, but close your eyes, relax your jaw, relax the point between your eyebrows, take a deep breath in and relax. We jumped right into it. And along the way, what did you fill your mind with? What did you fill yourself with? Was it kind of understanding, um, curiosity, or was it irritation? You know, I'm too tired. What do you fill yourself with? Take a breath in here. Exhale, let go. You're going to make your way into a downward facing dog whenever you're ready. Get there how you want to. You can move through a tabletop, a cat cow, a plank. But we meet in downward facing dog. And when you find your down dog, feel free to pedal, shake out your head, roll out your shoulders. In your down dog, all 10 fingers spread really wide. Make sure your index knuckles stay rooted down. And then push into your hands. But rather than shrugging your shoulders up to your ears, I want you to pull your shoulder blades down your back, away from your hands, and then kind of wrap the shoulder heads forward. Bottom of the wings, shoulder wings, tap together. Mm -hmm. Press your heels down, push into the balls of your feet, and then stick your glutes up to the ceiling. Engage your glutes, engage your pelvic floor, engage your low belly. Stay here and breathe. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, lower halfway, cheddar on the shoulder heads, go forward and down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Squeeze your ankle bones together, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your low belly, pull your shoulder heads back. Inhale here, and then push into your hands, lift your hips downward facing dog, exhale. Breath in, breath out. 
Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Without even looking, just bring your awareness to your hands. Make sure your index knuckles, your long fingers are all rooted down. One more time, roll forward, high plank. Keep them rooted down. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And out here. Inhale your right heel to the sky. If you want to bend your knee, open your hip, draw some circles, fan it open. Go for it. Three-legged dog. Just kind of work into that right leg, left hamstring. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly place your right foot outside of your right hand. Coming into a lizard lunge, you can walk your hands a few inches forward. Keep your left knee lifted. Stay up on your hands. Pull your chest forward. Try to look forward if possible. So keep your spine really long rather than rounding in your upper back. I want you to think about pulling your shoulder blades back. Shoulder heads back. Breath in. Breath out. Option is to stay here. If you wanted to work your hands out in front of you or bring your elbows to the ground, feel free to do that. Breathe. And even here in the pause, what do you feel yourself with? What do you find coming out? Make your way up to your hands if you were down on your elbows. Place your left knee on the ground. And then straighten your right leg. Keep both hands inside of your right foot. Now, in this half split, so right leg is straight. Maybe flex your right toes up to the ceiling. Try to pull your right hip back as far as it will go. So really, like, wrap it back. Mm -hmm. Press down into your right heel. Think about dragging it back towards your left knee. Feel that activation. Bend your right knee as much as you need to keep your, the hamstring protected. Deep breath in. Now I want you to just walk your hands over to the right and frame out your right leg. Just keep that right leg where it is. Frame yourself over the right leg. Still breathing. Right knee stays bent as long as you need it to. And then you're going to keep walking until both hands are on the outside edge of the right leg. Just feel the stretch kind of move. Keep your right toes pointed up. Try not to let them fall open to the right at all. So maybe internally rotate your right leg a little bit. Just hug the inner thigh. Slowly walk all the way back to center. Bend into your right knee. Curl your left toes. Step it back downward facing dog. Pedal around, settle in. Inhale, high plank, option to stay or exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel to the sky, inhale, bend the knee, open your head. Draw some circles, span it open, whatever feels good. And then inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step your foot outside of your left pinky as soft as you can. Wiggle your right foot back as you need, but keep your right knee lifted if possible. Left toes are pointed straight forward. So your big toe is pointed straight forward, kind of angled with the long edge of your mat. Hands stay grounded. Pull your shoulder heads back, but reach your chest forward. Breathe. Pelvic floor is engaged, glutes are engaged. Option to stay here. If you're already feeling ready for it, you can walk your hands out in front of you, place your elbows on the ground. But again, try not to round your upper back. Try to pull your chest forward, stay long through your spine. So kind of reach your chin forward. Pull your belly up, breathe here. Try not to let your left knee fall too far open to the left. Relax your jaw. 
What comes up? What do you fill yourself with? What's spilling out? Trying to be equally aware of what we put in and what's spilling out. That's how we know what we've been putting in. One more full breath here. If you're on your elbows, make your way to your hands. Place your right knee on the ground softly. Pull your low belly in. Roll it into a half split. Both hands on the inner edge of your left leg. So flex your left foot if possible, bend your left knee as you need to, and then stick your butt back. Pull your left hip back so that it stays in line with your right and doesn't kind of creep forward. Breathe here, you can walk your hands out in front of you, fold inside of that left leg. It's still early, so don't force it. When you're ready, you're going to walk yourself over so that you're framing your left leg, one hand on each side, lengthen your spine, chest forward, and then again, fold over top of your left leg. Keep your left foot flexed up towards the ceiling, heel presses down and pulls back towards your right knee to keep that activation. And the more activated your left leg, the more protected it should be from pulling or straining anything. Keep walking your hands to the left. Try to keep your left leg slightly internally rotated just so it doesn't fall open. Keep your hips squared off. And the low belly pulled in, pelvic floor engaged. Walk your hands away from you. Left toes pointed straight up to the sky. And then walk yourself back through center, bend into your left knee, curl your right toes, step it back, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay right here, breathe. Reset, refocus. When you're ready, look at your hands, bend your knees, hop, step, walk it up. Bring your feet right behind your wrists. Take a deep breath in, lift up halfway. Fingertips stay on the ground, lengthen your spine forward, exhale forward, fold. Think about bringing your ribs to your thighs, so bend your knees. Inhale, half lift, lengthen forward, exhale, ribs to the thighs, fold into it. One more time, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, and then from here, wiggle your feet just a little bit wider than your hips. You're gonna bend your knees, inhale, malasana, lengthen your spine, and again, you can kind of wrap your armpits around your knees to balance you out. Pull your ribs in between your inner thigh. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find that malasana, lengthen your spine, hips towards the ground. Exhale, forward fold. So you can bring your fingers under your toes for a little more support. You can wrap your peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, find that malasana. Exhale, fold. Keep your ribs close to your thighs. One more time, inhale, malasana. Stay here just for a moment. Wiggle your ribs in between your inner thighs. Hug your inner thighs towards your ribs and then ribs towards inner thighs. Breathe here. One more breath in, and you're going to fold it forward, exhale. Roll all the way up to stand. Shoulders back, head lifts. Arms by your sides. Close your eyes, take a breath in. Exhale. Eyes open, 
Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, step or jump, high plank to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, two options. First option will be inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Option two, you're gonna step your right foot just like five inches in front of your left. Look between your thumbs. Left heel to the sky, go for a handstand hop, maybe one, maybe two, maybe 10. Land your right foot in between your hands. Left heel down, warrior one. So either just uh, three-legged dog step up or handstand hop up to you. You can go for a few handstand hops, but we need in warrior one, wiggle your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Arms reach up, take a breath in. Exhale, sit nice and deep into that right leg. As you bend your right knee, I want you to pull your right hip back, left hip forward. Feel the left hip flexor stretch. Pull your gut in, you'll feel that stretch even more. One more breath in. And then on an exhale, you're going to pivot on the ball of your left foot, come into a goddess. So knees out, toes out, heels in. Elbows to 90 degrees. Pivot on the ball of your left foot. Inhale, warrior one. Spin it back. So your left heel is down. Toes are pointed towards the top left corner. Inhale here. Exhale, spin to goddess. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, goddess. One more time. Inhale, warrior one. Close hips. Exhale, open up, goddess. Hold here. Breath in. You're kind of tilted on your mat. Exhale. One more breath here. Spin it back, warrior one. Exhale, drop your hands behind your back. Keep your warrior one, interlace your hands. Inhale, spread your collarbones. Pull your shoulder heads back. Square yourself off to the top of your mat and then fold inside of your right leg. So rather than sticking your butt out to the right, I want you to pull your left hip over to the left. Bring your right rib cage right inside of your right thigh and then reach the crown of your head towards kind of like the big toe mound of your right foot. Open your right knee out to the right, stay here and breathe. So the whole time you're folding down, I want you to push into your right foot to keep your leg activated. Belly pulls in and up, stay here and breathe. After your next breath, you're gonna to look towards your right big toe. Hands can come in front of your feet, right foot. Left foot steps behind left wrist, molasana. Wrap your armpits. Sit up nice and tall, wiggle your ribs in between your inner thighs. Push into your feet, rise through the crown of your head. Breath in, breath out. Reach your fingers under your toes. And then lift your hips, forward fold. Roll it all the way up to stand. Keep your feet wide. You can actually bring them about as wide as your mat. Spin your right toes all the way to the right. And then spin on the ball of your left foot. Pick up your heel, send it back. So all 10 toes are pointed somewhat to the right side of your mat. Hands can come to your hips, inhale, get long. Exhale, fold halfway forward. So setting up like a pyramid pose, I'm just gonna spin so you can see. Inhale, reach your chest long, step into that right foot. Exhale, fold a little bit more. Maybe hands come to the ground, maybe they stay on your hips, maybe you bend your right knee. But push into your hands, push your right hip back, lengthen your spine forward. Not here terribly long. Keep your hands where they are. Just start to walk in towards the center of your mat. Or if your hands are in your hips, you're just going to spin towards the center of your mat so that you are, both feet are pointed towards the top of your mat. You're in kind of a wider fold. Now inhale, half lift. Wiggle your right foot in so that it is on your mat. Actually, bring both feet in. Let's come down to a malasana. Armpits around your knees. 
Hands out in front of you, take a breath in. Breath out. From here, you're gonna lift your butt up and up, but you step your left foot back into a lizard lunge. So right foot is in front, left foot is in the back. Hands are out in front of you. Get long, long, long. Think about bringing your right rib cage to your right inner thigh. And then just walk your hands out. Maybe walk your right foot forward as you need. Fold into that. I want you to think about getting so you can see your right rib cage in line with your right knee, or maybe even kind of below it, almost like at that hamstring. Stay here. Walk your hands towards you. Option one is going to be to step right back to a high point. Option two is going to be to wiggle your right armpit under your right leg. Go for that arm balance at the pot of Kundinyasana if you know it. We meet in a downward facing dog. So moving through a vinyasa if you want to. We meet and down them. And lift up that right leg, circle it out, shake it out, anything you need to do. When you're ready, option one, left heel high step forward, or left foot comes like five inches forward or so. Look at your hands, handstand hop. Light, light, light as you can, land the left foot, right foot to the back of your mat. So we meet in warrior one, whether you step up or hop up. Warrior one. Arms reach up, so there's a few options along the way through all of these sequences. Take whatever you need to. And as they come up, notice what you fill yourself with, notice what spills out. Gaze is straight forward. Try to keep your jaw soft. Sink deep into that left knee. Pull your left hip back, pull your belly in, pull the right hip flexor, stretch, take a breath in. Spin on the ball of your right foot, exhale, goddess. So elbows at 90, knees at 90, stay for an inhale. Exhale, warrior one, inhale. Goddess, exhale. Warrior one, inhale. Goddess, exhale. One more time, inhale. Goddess, exhale. Stay here, full breath in. Think about what you're doing. Exhale, so go. Knees press out, hips sink in. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Warrior one, inner. Hands come behind you, exhale. So interlace. So feet are wider than your hips, width wise, taking a breath in. And then exhale, think about bringing your inner, or I'm sorry, your rib cage to your inner left thigh. Bend your left knee, push into your left foot at the same time, keep your leg active. Knuckles can reach up towards the ceiling. Crown of your head can reach down towards the ground. Pull your right hip over to the right to keep from sticking your butt out to the left. You wanna try and keep your hips as square as possible. So notice that they tend to open to the right. Left knee presses open to the left, breathe here. Notice if your right shoulder is kind of jacked up way higher than your left. I want you to try and bring your right shoulder down in line with your left, just one more breath. You'll look forward, hands come forward, come onto the ball of your right foot and step your right foot up to a malasana. So a lot of malasana. I want you to find the engagement here. So feel your hip flexors really engaged, kind of keep you compressed. That'll be important in a little bit. Breathe. Reset, catch your breath. Fingers can just hook under your toes really lightly, forward fold. Rise up to stand. Spin all 10 toes to the left. So left toes turn to the left. Pick up your right heel, spin it back. Hips are, or feet are, excuse me, are as wide as your hips. Fold it over. You can walk your hands down your leg. But fold it over top of your left foot. Set blocks under your hands. Keep your hands on your left shin or hands to the ground. Inhale, get really long. Exhale, fold. Thinking about getting your left rib cage close to your left thigh. Okay. 
You're just going to walk yourself back to center. Wiggle your feet in, come right to that molasana. Back where we started. And then your hands come to the ground. You're going to pick your hips up enough that you can step your right foot all the way back. Come to that dramatic lizard. So maybe wiggle your left foot out to the left. Try and bring your left rib cage to your inner left thigh. Walk your hands as far out in front of you as you can and breathe here. Try not to bring your elbows to the ground though. So just walking your hands out. Wiggle, wiggle your left foot forward if you need to. A lot of work in your left hip, breathe. And when you're ready, you'll walk your hands back. You know your options, separate to a high plank, maybe move through a vinyasa or akapada vinyasana, left foot out to the side, right heel lifts. We meet in a downward facing dog. So you can bring that leg right back to a chaturanga. You can step right back to a down dog. When you're ready, downward facing dog to child's pose. Just take a moment, reset, refocus. And if that doesn't feel good on your hips, you can come right up to a seat. Just a breath. Reset, refocus. What do you fill yourself with? What's been spilling out? When you're ready, <clears throat> we're gonna go through that little series that we went through in the beginning. So you're gonna tap, curl your toes, tap your wrists, lift your hips, tap your wrists, malasana, boat, back curl. So come to a really closed table, make sure there's some room behind you, room in front of you. All 10 fingers spread, index knuckles to the ground. Bring your knees right behind your wrists, curl your toes, lift your knees up, tap your wrists. And then when you're ready, push into your hands, lift your hips up. Hips to the sky, up on your tippy toes. Knees, tap your wrists. Roll it over into Malasana. Butt down, toes up, tap your toe or fingers. Feet together, Malasana. Hands down, knees tap, butt up. Knees tap, heels back. Butt down, boat, malasana, knee tap, hips up, knee tap, malasana, boat. Three more times, knee tap, hips up, knee tap, malasana, boat pose, malasana, knee tap, hips up, knee tap, malasana, boat. Malasana, last one, knee tap, hips up, knee tap. Malasana, boat pose, malasana, and knee tap. Knees down, take a seat, take a breath in. Exhale. Remember we always say we're just moving our body different than we're used to, different than we've conditioned it to. So take a breath in, it doesn't matter what that just looked like. Exhale, reset, refocus. Meet me in downward facing dog. Jaw soft, attention on what you're doing. So you're just here in down dog, take a breath in. Exhale. Option, three-legged dog to a step forward. So inhale, right heel high, exhale, step forward. Option, right foot comes five inches forward. Look between your thumbs. One, two, 10 handstand hops, whatever you wanna do. Slow as you can, right foot to your right finger. Left heel down, we're gonna go warrior two this time. Rise up, settle in, breath in. Exhale. Gazes over your right fingers, breath in. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, bring your right hand inside of your right foot, left hand inside of your right foot. Wiggle your right foot out to a lizard lunge. 
You can place your left knee down, take a half split if that feels good right now. But from here, you're gonna keep that lizard lunge, keep your hands inside of your right foot. Just start to bend your elbows back in space. Option is to stay here. Option to walk your hands behind your right foot. You're gonna, again, try to get your rib cage kind of low, almost below your right leg. See if you can hook your right shoulder under your right knee. Right hand out to the right, left hand out to the left, so your arms are kind of like in a box. Option to stay here, option to airplane your arms, option bind behind your back. So you'll just internally rotate your uh, hands, try to grab the hands behind that. Stay here and breathe, not long. Think about hugging your right rib cage and your right thigh together. So again, I want you to feel like you're engaging your hip flexor, engage your right glutes, stay here and breathe. Unhook your binds, bring your hands back to the ground if you're in an airplane, and then just wiggle your right foot to the center of your knee. You're gonna step into your right foot, find a warrior three, hands can come to your heart. And then in your warrior three, push into your right foot, try to straighten that right leg, engage your right glutes, and then internally rotate your left leg. Think about hugging your left knee in towards the center, so almost in towards the right. From there, keep your belly lifted, lift your left heel, feel your left glute fire. Internally rotate the leg a little bit more, hug it in, lift it up, feel the glute. Slowly start to tip into a top bone tree, so nose towards the top of your mat, left toes towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee as you need. You're not here long, you're gonna stand all the way up, rise up, left foot to the ground, shake it out. Reset, refocus. Inhale, arms reach up. Little back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Step or jump, chaturanga. High plank to low, medium down dog. Take a moment, reset, refocus. Option, left heel high, step it forward, or step your left foot a few inches forward, look between your hands, handstand hop. We all meet in that warrior two. So left foot slow, right heel down, rise up warrior two. Wiggle your feet wide, sit down into your hips. Think about pulling your heels towards one another to engage your inner thighs, and then bend your left knee a little deeper, press your knee open towards your pinky toe, breathe here. Jaw is soft. Flip your left palm and how reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands inside of your left foot. Wiggle it into a lizard lunge, the left foot up to the left. Lift your right heel. Place your right knee on the ground just to even out your hips. Take a little um, half split. And then reset into that lizard lunge. Walk your, or, I'm sorry, keep your hands where they are. Bend your elbows back in space. Try to get your shoulders below your left knee, both right and left. Option, walk it out into the box arms, airplane your arms so that your left shoulder is under your left knee. Option for your bind. Wherever you go, you breathe. Your left heel, or I'm sorry, your right heel is lifted. Push into your left foot to keep the leg activated. Suck your low belly in and up. When you're ready, you'll unhook. Hands frame your left foot, wiggle it in. Lift it up, four or three hands to your heart. And so from here, push into your left foot, try to straighten your leg, engage your quad, engage your glute. And then belly sucks up, internally rotate your right leg so your inner thigh spins up, hug your right knee in towards the left almost, just like an inch so that you feel your right inner thigh turn up. From there, suck your belly up more, lift your right heel so that you feel your right glute thigh. Again, internally rotate the right leg, bring it in just a little bit so you feel the inner thigh, lift through your glute hole. So move it into a toppling tree, nose to the ground, toes to the sky, bend your left knee, lift it, lift it, lift it, and then stand it all the way up. 
Your right foot meets left, shake it out. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Stay here just for a moment. Lift your eyes open. You walk yourself back on your mat just a little bit so that there's like two feet in front of you. From here, sit into a malasana. Armpits can wrap around your knees. Breathe in, breathe out. So from here, you're gonna bring your hands out in front of you. You might need to lift your heels to get your hands to the ground, that's fine. Hands come out in front of you. You're gonna knees, tap wrists. Lift your hips up. This time, keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Can you bring your right toes to tap your right wrist for as close as they can? Foot down, heels down, knee tap, back to a malasana. So knee tap, hips up, left toes tap, left wrist, bring it in, set it back, knee tap, malasana. So keep lifting your hips. Try not to lower your hips to get that um, toe tap. If anything, keep your hips lifted and your foot might be like six inches from your wrist. That's totally fine. Feel the low core that has to happen. So hands up, knee tap, hips up, right toes to wrist, set it down, knee tap, take it back. Take out the momentum. Try to use your core to get your toes to your wrist also. So try not to like kick the leg. I want you to bring the leg, tap it, set it down. All right, knee tap, hips up. Left toe tap, strong, set it back, knee tap, malasana. Knee tap, hips lift, right tap, knee tap, malasana. A lot of tapping, knee tap, hips lift, left toes, knee tap, back. One more time each side, knee tap, hips lift, right toe tap. Knees down, malasana. Last time, left side, knee tap, hips lift, toe tap, knee tap, malasana. Forward fold. A lot, a lot of hip flexion. Walk your feet as wide as your mat. And then walk yourself back to that pyramid on the right side. All 10 toes spin towards the right. I'm just gonna spin over so that I'm facing you. Take a breath in, lengthen your spine. You can walk your hands up your leg. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe. Option is going to be to stay right here. Option, look at your right big toe. Lift your left leg up into a standing split. So left heel just goes as high as it can go. Take a deep breath in and out. So in this standing split, I want you to push down into your right foot. I don't know what the best way to face is to talk to you. Push into your right foot. Try to stand up on that right leg. Feel your right glute fire. And then from there, I want you to lift through your left heel, but engage your left glute to lift that heel higher. So you should activate that left leg. Don't worry about the leg being straight. You can bend it if you need. Activate your glute, lift your heel higher. Take a deep breath in. From here, you're facing the side of your mat. You're gonna exhale, Shiva squat. So left knee to your outer right ankle. Get low, lift your chest, look forward. And then inhale, push into your right foot, stand in the split. So engage your right glute, engage your left glute, lift your heel higher. Exhale, Shiva squat, sit low, lift your chest. Inhale, standing split. Engage your left glute, activate. And then again, exhale, squat. Pushing your right foot, inhale, lift. One more time, exhale, squat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, squat, left toes to the ground. Walk your hands to your right knee, maybe hands to your heart. So left knee is at your right ankle. 
Shift forward, lift your left toes again, and then slide your left knee up to your right knee, down to the ankle. Up to the knee, down to the ankle. One more time, up and down. Standing split one more time. Inhale, engage your left glute. Exhale, set your left foot back to the opposite side of your mat. Find your pyramid. Walk it into a wide angle fold. Bring your ribs in between your thighs. Maybe bend your knees to do so. And then inhale, half lift. Walk it right over to the left side. Find your pyramid. Shift it back and forth. Think about bringing your left rib cage to your left thigh. Get long, long, long in your spine and then fold over your left leg. You know where you're going, but try not to have any anticipation. Just stay here. You're in this pyramid pose. Hands are on your left thigh, on blocks, on the ground. From here, look forward. You can always stay in pyramid. Look at your left big toe. Step into your left foot, right heel to the sky, standing split. So you should feel a little relaxed in that right hip flexor. Engage your left hip flexor. Push into your left foot. Engage your left standing leg. Engage all the way up to your left glute. And then using your right glute, I want you to lift your right heel higher. So you actively have to activate that right glute. If it helps to bend your right knee so you can find your glute, do that. Right leg doesn't have to be perfectly square. It can be slightly open to the right side. But I'm just gonna face this way. Again, lift through your right glute, stay here. Deep breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. So right knee to your left ankle, lift your chest, look forward. Inhale, standing split. Left glute fires, right glute fires to lift. Inhale, or exhale, excuse me, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing split, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, Shiva squat. So keep your left knee bent if that's going to help keep the work in your right glute. One more time, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. And then Shiva squat it down. Inhale, standing squat. Exhale, Shiva squat. Place your right toes on the ground. So right knee is at your left ankle. Hands come to your knee. Hands can stay on the ground. Hands come to your heart. Hinge into the left foot. Lift your right foot. Slide it up to your knee. Down to your ankle. So left glute fires up to your knee. Suck your gut up. Down to your ankle. One more time. Up and all the way down. Standing split. Lift. Feel the right glute. And then set your right foot back. Walk it into a wide angle fold. Ribs to your inner thighs, bend your knees as much as you need to actually get that to touch. From here, hands to the ground, step or jump, high plank to low, move through a vinyasa. Hold that up dog for a moment, maybe that let the hip flex is open. And then push it back downward, facing down. Stay here, breathe. One more option. You can do a little handstand hop up to the top or the center of your mat, or you can just walk your hands and feet together. But bring your feet a little bit closer than the edges of your mat, but a little bit wider than your hips. Bend your knees and attach your ribs to your inner thighs, like hook them in there. Grab a hold of your ankles or your heels, take a breath in, get long, and then exhale, just let your chest get heavy. Try to reach your butt up through the ceiling. So just working on that really um, closed forward fold. Hang here, rock the weight to your toes, breathe. And then roll it up to stand. So option's gonna be to go for one more of those forward folds if you want to. 
Um, and then the other option is going to be to go for a fire flood. Um, and I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So you can stay facing the top of your mat. But you're going to come back into that kind of narrow wide angle fold, trying to get your ribs to your inner thighs. From there, you sit like a molasseno, but you're not going to quite go all the way down. You're going to bring your hand behind your right calf, trying and hook that right knee over your right shoulder, and then do the same thing with the left um, calf. So knee over shoulder, knee over shoulder, like you're wearing a backpack with your knees, your butts to the sky, hands come behind your heels, sit your butt onto your upper arms. You can keep a little bend in your arms, and then you're just going to try and kind of lift your legs out. So option one will just be to lift your feet off the ground, keep your knees bent. Option two, you need your knees like really high up over your shoulders. Try and straighten out your legs. Lift up. It's been a while since I've done this one, caught this one. So give it a try or find this fold. The trick for that arm balance will be trying to get your knees up and over those shoulders. Think about engaging your hip flexors to lift those legs up more. So it's not just the hamstrings that need to be working or open. Go for it or don't. You breathe, you shake. What comes up? When you're ready, you can just drop your arm balance down to the ground. If you're in that fold, you're just gonna sit your butt down like Malasana, everyone's to the ground. Like all the way back, feet together, knees wide. Ah, let the hips go. Relax. When you're ready, you're going to close your knees together, walk your feet as wide as you might. Internal rotation. And then just open your left knee all the way over to the left. So, like 90 90. Both knees pointing to the left. You can slide your right foot over to the right more or grab it with your right hand, slide it to the right. So that stretch through the front of your right hip leg. When you're ready, both knees will lift up to the ceiling, and then you'll just grab them over to the right. So 90-90, knees to the right, feet to the left, wiggle your left foot out to the left, or grab it, put it over. And let the weight of your knees fall towards the ground. Open that left leg. Ready, you'll slowly bring your knees back up. Bring your right knee into your chest. Extend your left leg long or keep it bent. 
drive your right glute towards your left heel just to keep your hips anchored. And then press your left thigh towards the wall. Left hand brings your right knee over to the left. So supine twist. Option is to straighten your right leg out to the side. So you can stay right here like this. If you wanted to bend your left knee, right hand grabs your left foot, and you just kind of pull yourself deeper into your twist, go for it. From here, you have an even further option if your hand is, right hand is on your left foot. Last hand's just kind of, kind of come out to the side, um, arm to the ground. And then I want you to roll to, well, the left side of your mat, roll towards your right leg so that you come onto your belly, left arm is now in front of you. Right hand has your left foot behind you like a half bow pose. Lift up, give it a good stretch. Pull your right shoulder forward as you kick your foot back, breathe. Wherever you are, you stay. If you're in that half bow, left glute's firing, hip flexor opens. Slowly bring your thigh back to the ground. Roll it back into your twist. Release your left foot. And then right knee to your chest. Bring your left knee in to meet it. Right leg goes long. Left knee to your chest. Left hip or glute reaches towards your heel. Just so that your left hip stays down in line with your right. Right leg anchors towards the ground. Left knee over to the right. Take a supine twist. Just start here. Maybe you straighten your left leg. Maybe you bend your right knee. Left hand can grab your right foot. And then pull your left shoulder back towards the ground. Deepen your twist. Option, right arm comes out to the side, kind of up by your right ear, really. Option to roll towards your left leg. Make sure you have enough room. Towards your left leg, onto your belly. Right palm down, left leg out to the side. Kick your right foot into your left hand. Lift up and then pull your left shoulder forward. Activate your right glute, breathe here. One more breath. Exhale, lower it down. Roll. On the hook, left knee to your chest, right knee to your chest. Bring your knees wide and rock side to side or draw a little circles. Option bridge pose, option happy baby, option lights up the walls. We're getting ready for Shavasana, so whatever you need before your final rest, feel free to take it now. Shoulder stands, head stands, plow pose, whatever you want to do. Any last stretches, engagements you need, go for it. Whenever you're ready, you'll extend your legs long, arms by your sides. Move to Shavasana. Close your eyes if you're able to. The point between your eyebrows is soft, jaw soft, throat soft. Relax down your arms, your chest, your abdomen, your glutes. Relax them. Bring your legs down your feet. Settle here, deep breath in and out. Breath in and even here, what do you fill yourself with? What spills out? Is your mind running like crazy? 
impatience, anxiety, excitement, frustration, whatever it is. Can you take a breath? And while if you do, fill yourself with patience, steadfastness, simplicity. Stay here, take a breath in, and a breath out. Keep your jaw soft, keep your minds clear. I'm gonna leave you here in Shavasana to stay as long as you like. Whenever you're ready, you'll get up and go into the room. And so one last moment while you're lying here, to so just notice what do you fill yourself with, what spills out. And as you go through your day, and you just be aware of that. What spills out? As life comes up, what spills out? Breath in. Breath out, you stay in Shavasana. Have a good day.